Kickstarter is a great incubator of new products, and it's given the beer community great products like the Pico Brew or the UKEG. Unfortunately, not all Kickstarter campaigns are quite as successful as those two. Whether it's a strange product idea or some really off-putting marketing, sometimes crowdfunding just doesn't draw a crowd. Hello beer nerds, this is Ryan from Beer by the Numbers, and today we're going to examine five beer-related Kickstarter campaigns that failed to get off the ground. First, we have a Kickstarter campaign designed to get people to pay a pretty good sum of money for something that people often give away already. The beer offner is, well, it's just a stainless steel beer opener. Now while it has a certain minimalist charm to it, I'm not sure it's worth the $19 Canadian for it. I mean, it's just a drill bit. And did I mention the $19 is just for the cheapest one? It's $31 for the brass version and $41 for titanium. Aside from aesthetics, I'm not sure why one needs an expensive titanium rod to open beer. Maybe for like $600 they'll come out with a solid gold version? Anyway, this campaign managed to get 44 backers but still fell short of their $2,000 goal. Don't worry, this was probably the most successful of the rest we're going to be looking at today. Many beer companies are always quick to remind you to drink responsibly, but this next Kickstarter campaign takes that message a little too literally. Beer rubbers are just that, condoms for your beer bottles. Now, I'm not really sure why the typical koozie needed a redesign, but there has to be a better way to do it than, as shown in their still image campaign video, rolling some silicon onto your beer bottle. Also, with the growing popularity of craft beer cans and other beer delivery vessels in general, it's pretty restrictive, pardon the pun, to just make a koozie that fits only 12 ounce bottles. In the end though, this campaign got 22 backers to pledge some $951 to practice safe drinking. However, this was well short of the $25,000 goal, which I assume was so they could buy a ton of rubbers for manufacturing and nothing else. This campaign did win the award for the best backer t-shirt design though, so that's something. From a Kickstarter that encourages responsible drinking to one that encourages, well, the opposite. The Brobong is, according to their campaign page, a drinking game changer that lets you hang beer bongs on any standard door frame. You can race your friends to see who is the best at chugging beer and developing alcoholism. As you can see from their video, which also has some of the most annoying music of any Kickstarter video I have ever seen, it's basically one of those door frame pull up bars with a shelf attachment and some beer funnels. Oh, and some rope lights in case you wanted to drink it in the dark. For $40 you don't get this version made of clear acrylic and has rope lights but you get this version made out of composite foam. If you want a version that looks like it wasn't made in a bro's garage, you have to fork over at least 80 bucks. Now, most of the time when I look at these Kickstarter campaigns, their funding goals seem pretty in line with the cost they're going to incur, incur to fulfill the promise. But there's something at the bottom of this campaign that gave me pause. We're trying to buy a CNC router to make them easier to cut, so most of our funding will go towards that. So you're telling me you can only manufacture the foam ones today, and are incapable manufacturing the acrylic ones without full funding. Not to mention all the additional costs of actually completing and shipping these products. Even if this one did get funded, I'm sure they would have failed to deliver. That being said, they only got $714 of their $22,000 goal. But don't worry bros, the creator tried again about 6 months later with a much better but equally bad music video. This time the product was improved, but they raised even less money, just $408. Maybe it was all that migraine inducing music after consuming so much beer. Our next entry suffers from plain bad marketing. In fact, the marketing is so bad, you can't even see the prototype. Now, in fairness, that's because the person blurred out the images of the product, the carb cap, because of, quote, the impossibility of obtaining a patent. 
The concept behind the carb cap is actually a good one for homebrewers. What if you had a one-way valve you could use to forks carbonate beer in a bottle without needing to use priming sugar or dealing with leftover yeast sediment? As an amateur homebrewer myself, that actually sounds pretty great. But then I thought a little harder about it. It seems like you'd have to damage the valve cap every time you pry it off. So they'll have to be disposable like standard caps. Just way more expensive. Indeed, $18 is going to get you 50 caps, or 36 cents a piece. Compare that to the Amazon low price of 4.2 cents a piece, or 8.5 times less. So not only are you paying for a product 8.5 times more expensive, but you have to buy it sight unseen. The campaign video doesn't help much either, it's just text, not even a photo to be found. Our final failed beer Kickstarter is one for a product concept I'm pretty sure already exists. Beervana was going to be a set of flavor packets that allow you to customize your beer. Now our last Kickstarter didn't actually show the product in their pictures. This campaign is even worse, showing someone else's product. That, that is a Starbucks instant via coffee packet. Not even their own product in the main image. But there's a lot more wrong with this campaign. It has by far the weirdest video. Let's take a look. A plain old peanut butter porter, huh? Not what I would call a, a plain old style or even anything boring, but sure. Okay, I'm gonna pause here. Add Brutality Raspberry. Isn't the product name Beervana? We got some major inconsistencies here. And of course, it finishes with a super creepy mouth shot. This one was just strange, and the Kickstarter campaign doesn't even tell you what flavors you're gonna get if you back the project. Just a series of alliterative suggestions. And this is probably why this was the least successful campaign, struggling to raise just $26. Not to say that this is a really bad idea, like I said, I think it already exists. It was just a real marketing struggle. So there we have it, beer nerds, five failed beer Kickstarter campaigns. What's the strangest beer-related product you've seen out in the wild? Let me know in the comments section below. And if you enjoyed this video, be sure to smash that like button. It really helps the channel grow. Once again, this has been Brian with Beer by the Numbers, and I wish you more success than these Kickstarter campaigns. Cheers.